Today I'm going to show you how to use an app called Telegami. After you've downloaded this free app from the, your app store, you can find the icon and open up the app. You get a few choices when you first open it. You can create a new one or you can learn how to. Since I'm going to walk you through the how-to, I'm just going to click on Create to make a new GAMI. That's what they call the videos. Now this is the generic starting screen that they give you, where you've got a female character and this, um, this lake background, but I can make changes to that. I can go in to start here. When I click Character, I get several choices for how I can modify my, my character. I can change the gender. I can change the skin tone, I can change eye color, the size of the head, which I think is kind of funny, so let's make it pretty big, the hair. Now, if you notice here, this first style is the only one I have available. These others have locks next to them. That means that I could choose to purchase an expansion pack that would give me access to these hairstyles. But you know what, I think this hairstyle looks wonderful, so I'll keep this one on her and I'll just go with the free version. But I will change the color. Next, I can change the top. Once again, I have one choice in the free version and I can choose to purchase other outfits. Let's give her a green top. I like how she looks at her outfit to see if it looks pretty good. I can change the color of the bottom. And I could change the color of her shoes, but I think I like the brown booties best. Those are the choices that I have for how to modify my character. <clears throat> so I can then choose to change her emotion by clicking on these faces over here. She can be neutral, happy, sad, surprised, angry, scared, or silly. And I think that one looks pretty goofy, so I'll leave that one. I can also make some changes to the background. I can take a picture using my camera. I can choose a photo that is in my library, my camera roll. I can draw on the background, and I can choose from these two free options. There are several other packs that I could purchase if I wanted a specific type of background, but I think you get enough choices in the free version. Let's take a look at them. You can choose from any of these backgrounds here, or you can choose from the road trip backgrounds. And I am going to put her on the side of the road. Now if you notice, she's kind of huge and in the way. I want to make her smaller. So I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to pinch their wide and I pinch them close together. And when I do that, oops, I forgot actually. I've got to click this back button because I'm in the background editing mode and so I was trying to change her size and I forgot that I can't do that until I click back. <clears throat> now I can pinch to resize her. So I'm bringing my fingers from far apart to close together and I can also click on her and move her. She's still a little too big so let's make her a little smaller. If I want to rotate her I can swipe my finger from the left to the right and her body turns. I can swipe it from the right to the left, and she turns this way. If I swipe my finger from the top to the bottom, it changes the angle, or from the bottom to the top. And you can do that to mess with some of the perspectives, and that can be a really fun project to have your students play with. So now I've changed the character and the emotion, but I want to add one more thing to the background. So I'll click on that again, and I want to show you what Doodle can do. So I clicked on Doodle, and I can choose some colors, by choosing the brush, I can erase things, and I can fill the entire uh, background with one color. But today, I just want to add some of my brush strokes. I want to add yellow, so I'll select a yellow color. And this over here shows how thick the marker will be or the brush will be when I start drawing. I want it to be a little thinner than that. So I can make it thinner by sliding it to the left, or I can make it thicker by sliding it to the right. I think that will suit my needs. So then I'm going to click on brush again to get this section to, look, to go away. And I can draw in the background now. I wanted to add a sun. And I think I'm done editing. Mm, that's not 
There we go. That's better. I want to go back so I can add my message to it. If I decided I wanted to start over, I could click on the refresh button, the reset button in the top left corner, and it would take me back to that original starting screen where I had the lady uh, with blonde hair standing by the lake. But I think I'm ready to hit the message to record mine. When I do that, I get a few choices. I can record my voice or I can type some text and it will return that into an audio recording for me. But I think that sounds a little robotic, so I'm not going to do that option. I'm going to record my own voice. Telegami is a fun app that you can use in your classroom to engage your students. So I just clicked on record and then I clicked on stop and it's analyzing my voice. Telegami is a fun app that you can use in your classroom to engage your students. And it actually, um, it animated my character for me. I didn't do anything to make her move. She just started doing that to go along with my voice. That's part of the app. And I, sorry, my mouse stopped working, so I was going to point to a few more things on my screen, but I don't think I can do that. Um, I can preview it again by clicking the preview button. It would just play again for me. Telegami is a fun app that you can use in your classroom to engage your students. I think it's kind of silly that she's talking with her tongue sticking out of her mouth. So now I'm done with my GAMI, and if you notice, I only had 30 seconds available to record. That's all that's available in the free version. If I wanted to record for up to 90 seconds, I could pay for an upgrade, and that's what this the clock icon is that says 90 second GAMI. I could upgrade to that if I wanted to. <clears throat> but now I'm ready to click share. So that's in the bottom left hand corner, and here are my sharing options. I can save it to my camera roll. I can share it on Facebook, Twitter, via email, or text message. I definitely recommend saving it to your camera roll so it's saved on the device. I have shut out of the app a few times and lost my work by accident and had to start over. But luckily, 30 seconds isn't too hard to recreate, so it was not too stressful when that did happen. If your students have email, an easy way to share their gummies that they create is via email. So you could practice using that also. And that is really all that you can do with your GAMI. If you wanted to do a new one, you could just click back and reset. And it, it asks you because it will be gone forever. But yes, I do want to reset. And now she's back to normal. I can click home to go back to this page where I can go to the how-to, I can share, and when I click on that, it takes me to the App Store. I don't really know why it takes you to the App Store, but that's what happens when you click on the Share button. I'm getting out of that and going back into Telegami. You can also rate the app by clicking on the, the star, the rate button. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to use Telegami. Stop it.